Tonight an Eyewitness News exclusive. Hundreds of violent attacks we know every year inside New York's infamous city jail, Rikers Island. Well, tonight, one of those stories. A young gay man in jail for the first time for shoplifting when he's slashed in the face by a man charged with murder. And the tale he tells is one reason Rikers will eventually close. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yang. As I turned, he reached his arm over me and slashed downward and across. 28-year-old Joseph Troiano was violently cut from face to neck on January 21st. The six-inch long scar still thick and healing. And every day I look at it, I'm like, wow, it was really close. The attack happened inside Rikers Island. Joe was serving 60 days for shoplifting. He admits he did a foolish thing. He did not have a record. He was working as a hairstylist and cosmetologist. As an openly gay man, as someone gentle and small framed, he feared for his safety at Rikers and went into protective custody. Ten days before his release, he says another inmate awaiting a murder trial slashed him in the face. If it came closer and actually hit his carotid artery across his neck, he wouldn't be here right now. He'd be dead. And then we'd be dealing with, with a wrongful death case. We're told a second inmate was also slashed before the guards finally stopped the attacker. Joe and his attorney want to know why an accused killer was housed in protective custody with nonviolent offenders. I often think, like, what could I have done to, like, stop it? But... I didn't do anything, so it's kind of sad. He's not supposed to be treated like garbage. He still has his rights. He's still an individual. He could be your son, your nephew. It could be anybody. Joe's attorney has now filed a $30 million lawsuit. Lucy Yang, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. We asked the New York Correction Department for comment tonight. They told us it's working with the Bronx District Attorney to prosecute anyone involved in this attack. It also says this is why body scanners are needed at the jail and it's working with state legislatures to get them approved.